Welcome to the Laris HQ Essential Edition Walkthrough, Part 1. In this video, we will review the following elements. How to log in to Laris HQ Essential Edition, an overview of the main dashboard, the marketing calendar, a bit about social media, and how to add some media in the asset library for use in an email message. We begin at LarisHQ.com, our proprietary resource site and the main portal to our product. LarisHQ.com is packed full of free expert advice, best practices, tips and tricks that will help you optimize your email and online marketing. To begin, you just click the login button at the right. And this takes you to the LarisHQ main login screen. As you can see, this screen also provides you with timely news on free webinars and guides, special offers, and important product upgrade notices on LarisHQ. So let me enter my username and password and click login. And here we are at the initial screen, the dashboard. Let's take a look around the Laris HQ application dashboard. This is a fairly new account, but I've sent a couple of messages already so that there will be some data in here. First, you can see some stats regarding a recent mailing that I've deployed. I can expand the info to dive in more deeply and I can plunge in even further to get a summary delivery report for a particular email. We'll talk more about reporting later. For now, let's minimize the email dashboard and take a look at the calendar. Unlike your personal calendar that you are probably keeping in Outlook, this calendar records marketing events, so you have one place that your whole marketing staff can see what's happening when. It's a great way to coordinate and inform. Here you can see an email that I sent out last week. When you schedule emails to send in the future, they also automatically show up on this calendar. Of course, you can also manually add events to the calendar. I'll set a two hour event. And like any good application, you can drag and drop and resize. Very cool for a web application. Now let's return to the month view here. You can see our trade show and return to the main dashboard. Moving to the upper right, you can see some statistics. You can view your recent mailing statistics in summary format and you can even customize your view. Here I'll look at my average click-through rate. In the bottom right, you can keep tabs on your social media efforts. There's a live feed of Twitter activity relating to whatever search term is in the box. In this case, I'm using it to monitor a topic of interest, email marketing. I can click here to get the latest update on tweets around email marketing. Or you might want to monitor what is going on with your brand. Let's type in Dell and see what comes up. There you go. As you know, social media is becoming increasingly important to email marketers as a way to boost performance. The two mediums are quite synergistic when used together. So there are a number of areas where we have included social functionality into Laris HQ. Now before we get into the core email marketing functionality, let's take a quick look at the content management area, where Laris has quite a few unique tools to make your life easier. Here you can do two things, set up landing pages for your emails or other marketing campaigns, or upload graphics or other assets that you might use to create emails or landing pages. Let's try that. All right, this is a new account, so let's add some images. I'll click Add, navigate to my folder, and I'm going to open both of these images. Now it's uploading the assets, progress is done, and I can view what has been added. And there they are. Now I can use these logos in emails and landing pages. The cool thing is, instead of searching through folders, I can use keywords to find what I'm looking for. Let's add a few keywords. So let me double click this logo and add some keywords to it. I'll add the keyword logo, color, and Lyris. Okay, we'll see those keywords start to appear on the right. I can do the same thing for the other logo. In this case, it is a logo, 
it's black and white, it's not color, and it still is a Laris logo. All right, now I can easily use the keywords to display the appropriate assets. So if I only want to see the color logo, I click the color keyword, or the black and white logo, or both logos. One thing to keep in mind is Lyris hosts these assets for you online. So when you use them in landing pages or emails, we take care of everything. It's totally seamless. We'll come back to landing pages later. For now, let's get into core email functionality. This has been part one of the Lyris HQ Essential Edition walkthrough. Make sure you view part two, which reviews the following elements. Creating a list of contacts, adding contacts to the list, segmenting the list, and creating and sending an email message.